So we have this question over here which says sine 32 is equals to t. Determine the value of the following in terms of t. Now we are asked to find what is sine 212, cos 122, cos 64 and cos 32. So let's start with the first one. The first one over here asks us for sine 212. Now to answer this question, we need to use the concept of reduction. Now 212 is in the third quadrant. Now we need to rewrite 212 in the with the equation of the third quadrant, which would be and therefore we reduce it. Sine is negative in the third quadrant. So this would give you. And since sine 32 is t, the answer here is just negative t. Then we go to b. Now b says cos 1 to 2. You need to simplify cos 1 to 2. So, so to simplify cos 1 to 2, we can use reduction formula or we could also use co-ratios. So I notice that cos 1 to 2 can be written as 90 plus 32. And due to co-ratios, this would automatically change to sine. But since cos is negative in the second quadrant, it will affect the value of your sign. So this will be negative 32. And as we know, 32 is t. So your answer here is negative t. And that's it. So let's talk about c. c is asking us for cos 64. Now, one thing to look at when answering c is 64 is double of 32, which should remind you of double angle identity. So we can rewrite 64 as a double identity and the formulas of double identity says this. Now we have three choices whenever you have the cost value of your double identity. Now the thing about this question is we have sine 32. So we have sine theta. We don't have cos theta. So out of these three choices, only one of them has only sine theta. So it would be preferable you use that. So what we'll do now is to rewrite cos 232 as... And that means that this could also be written as... Which is... And that will be your final answer. And the last question asks us to find cos 32. Now remember we're given that sine 32 is equal to t. There is no way for us to convert cos 32 into sine 32. So what we need to do is use your trig ratios. So we understand that sine is y over r. But sine 32 here only has a numerator but no denominator just because it's a whole number so we can rewrite a whole number as a fraction by just dividing by one because we understand that t over one is the same thing as t and if we write it in this way it helps us determine that t is actually y and one is r now since this question is asking us for cos 32 which is the same as x over r we have the r to be 1, but we have no idea what the x is. And what we normally do with questions like this is to do Pythagoras, right? Because we understand that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. We substitute what we have. So as you can see here, we have our x as the root of 1 minus t squared. So it would mean that the x over here would just be written as, and therefore your answer for this, since anything divided by 1 is still anything. So we would just say that our answer is just 1 minus t squared. And that's it.